who are the Duplass brothers and how have they influenced the TV and film industry? What are some examples of projects that they've worked on that have inspired future filmmakers and how has their rise in television and film shown a new generation of indie filmmakers that they too can make it? It all begins with Mumblecore. Mumblecore is defined as relationship dramas that mine mundane emotional moments but have great comedic impact. They have minimal budgets and usually a low box office to match. The main influence on Mumblecore would be French New Wave films from the 1960s, a genre that rejected traditional filmmaking rules and had a very European style of storytelling. Mumblecore films have their own unique flair to them, very different from a typical Hollywood blockbuster. They also tend to focus on a character's romantic interests. So what does Mumblecore have to do with the Duplass brothers? Mark and Jay Duplass are two brothers from New Orleans suburbs. They have made a significant impact on indie film culture. They've become role models for new filmmakers with minimal budgets. In 2003, they made a seven-minute $3 film, This Is John, that made its way into the renowned Sundance Film Festival. Following the short film's success, the Duplass Brothers' next release was in 2005 at South by Southwest Film Festival. Featured film was The Puffy Chair. The Puffy Chair was very well received, and after its release, the brothers' popularity grew exponentially. Alongside the puppy chair at 2005's South by Southwest was Mutual Appreciation, a film by Andrew Wojcicki, considered by many to be the godfather of Mumblecore. Wojcicki's first film, 2002's Funny Haha, is known as the first film in Mumblecore's 18-year anthology. So, although the Duplasses didn't create Mumblecore, they have significantly pushed this indie film style onto a more mainstream, worldwide audience. The reach was obvious with films like Cyrus and Jeff Who Lives at Home starring such big name actors like Jonah Hill, Marissa Tomei, Jason Sigel, or Ed Helms. With other influential films in their large catalogs such as 2008's Baghead and 2014's Creep, the Duplass brothers were able to inadvertently inspire a new genre of film. Mumblegore is a subgenre of mumblecore with similar film characteristics, but it's more reminiscent of a low budget slasher film from the 60s or 70s. The Duplass brothers' careers in TV and film is a symbol and it has expanded the ways in which a film's success and profitability is considered. This is only one of many ways that they have become known for making quality films while working with small budgets. As writers, directors, actors, and producers, the Duplass brothers have definitely made their mark in film history.